great. You're just in time for another EP unboxing. Why do I feel like singing the Golden Girls song right now? Thank you for being a friend. Travel along the road and back again. My voice sucks. My voice really sucks. All right, let's get to the uh, unboxing before everyone needs Anison or Excedrin. You know, with all the things I ordered, I have absolutely no clue what the hell this is. I really don't. Is it even mine? Hold on, let me check. Yeah, it's mine. All right. Sometimes I, I unbox my husband's things. I hate this glare. That glare, I don't know, it irritates me. All right. <laughs> Everything irritates me. All right, it feels heavy. What the hell What the hell did I order? I don't remember. I can't get it out. Ah, come on. Come on, get out, get out. Get out. You're evicted from this uh, thank you box or whatever the hell. Thank you, bubble mailer. Get, get, oh my goodness. They made it so you can't even pull the, the thing out. Uh, what the hell did I order? All right, your guess is as good as mine. Can we all guess? And the drum roll. Dun -dun -dun. Why does it look like it's in a brand new box? Uh-oh. I didn't order something new. I ordered antiques. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, this reminds me of a Louis Vuitton, one of those Louis Vuitton wallet boxes. With the pull-out drawer. What the hell? What What is it? I'm going to tease you motherfuckers. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Can you guess what it is? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. There's more. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Ah, my pocket watch. What? My pocket watches have arrived. Yes, my antique pocket watches. I got a thing now for antique pocket watches. I get on kicks. You know, kicks. When I was a kid, I used to get on kicks really weird unusual kicks and so i would only eat like campbell's chicken noodle soup and that was it for like three months every single day morning noon and night even for breakfast my mom had to put campbell's chicken noodle soup into my thermos for her, uh, school and all the kids would look at me very strange and then i went into the lenders frozen bagels kick where i, I would eat nothing but onion lenders bagels now i'm into pocket watches now they don't work Okay, but we're going to do a Flavor Flav wrapper style necklace. We're going to turn these into necklaces. So let's check it out. Now, the seller, he sold junk, you know, basic junk. And these are junk too. <laughs> but these are Swiss, antique Swiss watches. And I was told by my dad's best friend uh, of 70 something years that, it, well, now they're probably like 80. Um, yeah, my dad's about 80. His friend must be the same age. And he told me, Swiss watches, antique Swiss watches, he collects them. He collects, well, not Swiss watches. He told me over his dead body would he collect an antique Swiss pocket watch. He said they're pieces of shit. New York, Brooklyn style. He's, he was from Brooklyn. He's like, I called him up. I'm like, I got this Swiss watch and I broke it by accident. Yes, you can watch that video where I was trying to wind the fucker up. And it went ding. And I broke the mainspring. It was my first pocket watch. What the hell do I know? And so I had a chat with him. Can you fix this for me? He fixes pocket watches. He goes, I won't even spend five minutes with the piece of shit. I go, what? He goes, yeah, you heard me. It's an absolute fucking piece of shit. And I'm like, how is a Swiss, Swiss watch a piece of shit? I thought Swiss watches were the best. He goes, no, they weren't the best until after the 20s. Well, he goes, uh, yeah. He goes, so I wouldn't even bother uh, spending five uh, nickels on that piece of shit getting it fixed. He goes, because I was like, can I take it to a watch guy if you don't want to fix it? He goes, you want to pay $300 for a watch that's worthless? I said, no. He goes, there you go. All right, so these are pieces of shit. Uh, okay, so Ronald... Yes, I did it again. I bought I bought more pieces of shit. 52 pieces of shit. Like 37 pieces of flair from the movie Office Space. We got, yeah. <laughs> so now this is going to be Pocket Watch one, uh, 2 and 3. Okay, and apparently the seller really didn't have much to say about them except for they don't work. And they're dirty. And I don't like filth and, and, and what have you. How do you even open these things? Let's look at the dials first. I really like gandering at these old porcelain style dials. That's actually quite nice. That looks really nice. How do you open these things? I think, watch, what? I gotta, I gotta put like a, like a, you know, uh, when someone's like jumping for suicide and the firemen put like some kind of like air mattress 
uh, or some kind of trampoline. I need like a trampoline for when I drop this shit and then I start losing my shit. Okay, so what does it say? What does it say? It says, you've been rooked. Okay, what did I pay? All right, so he had like 40 something dollar make an offer for each one. Uh, I offered him $21 for I think this one and 25 for this one and he accepted. So apparently he knew it wasn't a value. Uh, is this even 800 silver? Well, here's the inner workings. Ooh, wait, can we get a close up? Can we even see? What does it say? Hold on, hold on. What's that say right there? It says, this is a piece of shit. I think it says fast and slow. Oh, R, R is for retard. No, I kid you not. In, in pocket watch terms, uh, R stands for retard. It means slow. And we're not making fun of anyone with uh, disabilities here. Okay, so that's one. Let's get to two. Ugh. All right, so I liked it because of the dial. I thought the dial was pretty fancy schmancy. All right, we got this uh, little design going around. Is it inside? Oh, it's under the glass. And I got to get in there and try to clean this sucker. Oh, not going to be fun. Where's the, where's the fireman trampoline? I think I need it right now. Trampoline. That's how us New Yorkers talk. Seriously. All right. Uh, how the fuck do you open this without breaking it? All right. There's some kind of weird hinge thing going on here. Uh, yeah. I broke the last one by fucking around. Oh, here we go. It has some markings. Don't know what it says. Does it say at least 800? Please, God, please. I want it to at least be silver. Does it say silver? It says FF for double fucked. Uh, oh, it's 800. Yay. All right. So this is at least 800 silver. It says, I can't even read it. Oh, Remon, Remon Twa, Remon Twa, cylinder, 10 rubies, 10 rubies, 10 rubies. And how do you open the rest of it? How do you see what it, like it looks like inside? Uh, is this going to turn into like a 50 minute video that you guys are going to hit the back button on? I hope not. How do you get in here? Oh my God. Can, can somebody help me? Can somebody help? Oh, do you press the button and it pops open? No, you schmuck. I'll be back. All right. So I was able to get this part open. I can't figure out how to get the mechanism open to see the, uh, the innards. I'm going to try to clean this. I hear I hear. don't do that, but I'm going to just try it anyway because I just can't help myself. All right, so I don't think I see any silver markings anywhere. It doesn't mean that it's not silver. So, I mean, wait, hold on. What is that right there, that little shield? Let's, I don't know, let's zoom in. The other one is 800 silver. I don't know if that means that it's silver. Oh, there we go, 800 Oh, it's the other one. The other one, I wasn't sure if it was silver. All right, so what I did was I cleaned I cleaned the glass inside and I cleaned it outside because it was, like, really dirty. And then this one, all right, hold on. I'm trying to find, like, any kind of silver marking. This has some kind of serial number, but I don't see any silver markings. Let's see, sometimes it's on, like, the stem, I think. I do see something punched in there. Let's see, can we zoom in on that? My camera is going to be a bit of a bitch. I think that might be a silver marking. I don't know. I mean, I don't see silver markings anywhere else, but this is this is really beautiful. Too bad that most people, you know, don't want to do anything about servicing these watches, and if they do service them, I got quoted if there's nothing wrong with the watch, $300. And uh yeah, hmm. All right, so what I am going to do is I'm going to clean these. So look at them now. Let me just uh, close this. And I'm going to clean the inside of the glass on this one also. And then I'm going to uh, actually try to, like, uh, turn these into necklaces. Here you have shiny things get with Simicrone. So this was just filthy dirty. Now it's Simicrone. Oh, it does have initials. I don't know what that says. Does it have a year? I think it has a year. 18... Wait, hold on. Is that a year? No way. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what that means? It's, wait, 18, wait, 1864? I don't know. Could this watch be that old? I doubt it. 
All right, so now we see we got a serial number. We have the number one. We have um, some kind of thing going on here. Okay, so here we go. It looks like um, metals. Do you see that? Okay, so I do know I collect antique dolls. And I do know like Jumeau, a French doll maker, got like, for example, something called the Medal of Honor in France at the Fran uh, French Exposition in 1878. And they got the, I'm going to pronounce it wrong because it's French, the Medaille or the Medal d'Honneur. And they had like some kind of thing like this going across on all their boxes. And so this must mean that it might have gotten, say it was um, at an exposition or a pre or some kind of world uh, exhibit. They must have got some kind of medal for something. And so I don't know. I don't think that means anything else, but it got some kind of award probably once. Okay, so it took me barely a second to clean this out with Simicrone. And look how shiny this is now. I really do think this is silver. This one I haven't even touched yet. And it's like filthy dirty. But look at look at Simicrone. Look what Simicrone does. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm almost out of it. But I actually, thank goodness, it's a German polish for metal. All kinds of metal. And uh, it does a really good job at uh, cleaning very old metal. There we go. And now we can look at those little metals of honor. Apparently, it must have won some kind of metal. Or maybe it's a logo. I don't know. It only has six rubies. The other part of the case has a serial number, 16 star 40. I think that's the size in millimeters. That's what I really think it is. All right, so I just cleaned it. Oh my God, look how clean this is. I don't know what kind of uh, watch this is. I don't know if it's French. I mean, they say it's a Swiss watch, but I think these are, are French. Actually, I don't want to touch it because I just polished it. And look at look at the shine on this. I mean, look at this unbelievable shine. I'm going to flip it over. I clean the inside as well. Simicrone really is great. It, it's great for any kind of metal, even gold, brass, silver. I mean, it's phenomenal on silver. There we go. Look at this shine. I mean, that is just, look at that. It looks like it's brand new. Look at the side panel. Actually, I will try to pick it up. Okay, and these are just beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually, hold on. I'm going to get the other one and show you that one all cleaned up as well. And this wasn't bad. This was not bad for a $21 purchase. Let's get the other one, <coughs> which was a $25 purchase. And here we go. Let's get in there close. Let's check out that dial. It's very hard because of the glare right now. That is just a beautiful, beautiful dial. I really like the shape. It's like a shield shape. And let's just pull back on this. I'm just going to look at the look at the incredible shine from Simicrone. I mean, this looks like a piece of junk. I mean, my my dad's friend Ronnie says it's a piece of junk, but I don't think it's a piece of junk. Now, I'm going to use this as a piece of jewelry. All right, so look at this. Look at this incredible shine. We'll spin it around. All right, now we're going to put both the watches together. Let's go ahead and do that. And I don't like touching them because I don't want fingerprints. And here we go. All right, these are just beautiful. All right, so we're going to turn these into Flava Flav, Victorian style though. Flava Flav wrapper clock necklaces. And I'll show you how you can do that. All you need is two cheap things to turn this into a necklace. You get like a six or seven dollar toggle necklace in the color of your choice and I'll put links in the description below. I'll be honest with you, don't get this one in gold. You're gonna order it. Uh, it the seller sent me the wrong one. So maybe I'll put links to different different toggle necklaces, these chunky toggle necklaces. I can't get this open to get a scissor. Uh, here we go. I think I paid like six or seven ninety nine for this. Not the best out there, you know. I bought other ones from other sellers on Amazon. That I I don't have patience for freaking Ziploc right now. But uh, yeah, I I, I bought ones like this for like fourteen fifteen ninety nine before. This is a little thinner than I'd like it to be, but it's a toggle necklace that's in silver style. There we go, silver link. 
So I'm going to put it on my dummy. Let's go ahead, put it on the dummy. And this one is, I think, 17.7 inches long. Why is this kinked? We don't want to kink. We don't want to kink in our chain. Hold on. Okay. It took two seconds to fix it. There we go. We got a toggle. The reason why I like the toggle is because you can hang things from the toggle. All right, so then you're going to need a bail clip. So you're going to need uh, something to clip your pocket watch chain to it. And I get these. You can get these in different colors or all one color. I'm going to pick a silver one from the batch. I'll give you a link for this. I think these are like 13 bucks, and you get a six pack. You can get solid colors or assorted colors, two of each color. I'm going to try to get this out. And so this can work two ways. This is a toggle. So it swivels. You can actually attach it this way with the bigger side towards the necklace and the smaller side towards the pendant, or you can do vice versa. You can have the smaller one attached to the necklace and the bigger bail uh, attached to the pendant. All right, so I'm gonna put the bigger bail to the necklace, and it's a hinge. It's like a real pain in the arse. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hinge right there. So you wanna pull that out until it unsnaps. You wanna get your nail under there. And it's very hard because it, it swivels while you're trying to do it. There we go. We have it undone. And you want to attach it. I'm just going to pull over our necklace. You want to attach it to, here we go. You want to attach it to the little toggle. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to put it here. And then you want to make sure it snaps. A lot of people are like, I lost my pendant. You got to wait for it to snap. All right, listen for the snap sound. See, it didn't snap. People would think this was closed. It's not closed. There you go. So now it's snapped in. It's locked in place. All right. So now you want to attach your pocket watch chain. I mean, your pocket watch to the chain. And this has a, a little hinge also that you have to you have to undo. And you got to find it. And you have to like have good eyes to find it. There we go. We unsnap it. We're gonna place our pocket watch bow onto this. And now we want to snap it. And make sure it snaps. Otherwise, you're gonna have a problem. It did not snap, I don't think. Hold on. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, good. All right, so now, hold on, hold on. We got a, a Flavor Flav toggle necklace. And now you just turn this into a piece of jewelry. So this was the whole reason of my purchase. Now the sun, the sun is just really bad right now. I'm trying to get into a spot without the sun. Just like... Uh, yeah, the sun is, oh my God, the sun's got to ruin my video. Hold on, we'll take it to another spot. Okay, so the whole reason for me purchasing these pocket watches are to turn them into jewelry. Now, I made the, the, I made the chain really short. I uh, shortened it so it can hang on the dummy. You know what I mean? So you can see it like the way it would be on your neck. That's about, if your neck was there, it would probably be a choker. So I got the choker version. You can get these in longer. Uh, they sell them in 19 and 20 inches also. But look how beautiful that is. So you can take these old antique pocket watches and turn them into really cool pieces of Victorian jewelry. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, yeah, and it's a really nice. Uh, so I pay 21 for one, 25 for the other. You can actually flip them since this is a swivel chain. And I'll show you. Now you can have two different kinds of styles. You can have it with the watch face showing. Or you can have it with the uh, really cool decorated repousse showing. And uh, there you go. That's how you can make your own jewelry uh, with uh, broken pocket watches. Now, if you want to fix this, it's going to cost you about the minimum $300. And it's not worth it. So to quote my dad's best friend, Ronnie, these are absolute pieces of shit. And I really don't think they're absolute pieces of shit. I just think they're really beautiful. Uh, it's a work of art. I think these were made in anywhere between like the 1860s to the 1890s, even as late as 1900. But I mean, these things are a work of art. Look at the workmanship that went into this. I mean, here, here's another. Look at the workmanship that went into these. These are just beautiful. Some people got their initials placed in those little shields. And then if you get this little thing, you could just swivel it 
And then now, here you go. Now you have uh, the watch face showing. I'm trying to get rid of the glare because uh, we got 52 pieces of glare over here. There we go. And now you can just turn this into jewelry. And so I hope uh, this was useful for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's actually turn her around because we got that swivel. And there you go. And now you can actually have the uh, back end of the pocket watch showing. And then again, you can swivel it around, turn it around. And here we go. Beautiful. It's a, uh, it's a really good way to repurpose old things. Now here, here's an example. If I didn't do this, okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. If I didn't buy these two pocket watches that are broken, that are not working, what would happen is somebody would purchase these uh, for a uh, silver metal value, okay? So somebody would, would buy these to melt these old pieces down just for silver value. And it really makes me sick. So I'm rescuing, if you think about, I'm rescuing an antique and saving it from those uh, melty, melty people, those people that buy precious metal that are made out of antiques, you know, antiques that are made out of precious metals that melt them down. I do not like people that do that. It's up to you. You do what you want with your own, you know, your own possession. I can't tell you not to do that. But I don't like people that take pieces of like works of art and decide to destroy them just for metal value. Oh, I just burped. Uh, it, it just makes me sick. Like seriously, really ill. Just to think that somebody would take this beautiful old pocket watch that's at least 120, 30, 40, 50 years old and decide to just melt it down because, hey, you know, silver is worth money. No, silver is not worth that much uh, in order to do something like that. But people do that. They go to thrift stores. They buy, they buy old teapots. All right. They buy old vases they buy old silver trays they buy old silver goblets and cups and silverware and they 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 just go over to the pawn shop and they're like hey 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 uh how much can i get for 30 ounces of silver yeah i'm gonna just give this to you you can melt it down i want some melt value you know people why do you do that i mean you're like what ronnie said my dad's friend the one that tells it like it is from brooklyn He's like, hey, uh, I'm going to tell you something. And I'm like, what, what? And he's like, let me tell you with his, you know, total New York accent. He's like, I guarantee you, he's like 80. He's like, in 20 years, when you're like 20, 30 years, when you're my age, he said, there's going to be no antiques left. The, any antique that's made out of precious metal, he said, there's going to be zero left. I guarantee you. He goes, because these motherfuckers, I love it. I love old, old, old timey New Yorkers because they tell they don't give a shit. They don't mince words. He's like, because these these motherfuckers are going to melt down all. He goes, I'll be dead and buried. So I don't give a shit no more. He goes, but for people that collect antiques, there's going to be none left that are made out of silver and gold uh, come 10, 20, 30 years from now. So if you do something like this, screw you, Ronnie said, fuck you. And uh, yeah, fuck you. I, I know. Give me a thumbs down. I don't give a shit, motherfuckers, because you know what? When you give me a thumbs down, guess what? Guess what happens? It increases my algorithm. It's equivalent to giving me a thumbs up. So you're not punishing me. And guess what? I'm going to punish you because I'm going to buy every single piece of precious metal that I can get my hands on. That's antique on eBay. And I'm going to buy it and I'm going to get it for cheaper than you. And I'm going to repurpose it and I'm going to turn it into beautiful necklaces and I'm not going to let you get your muddy paws on them. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let you get your muddy paws on them and turn these beautiful pieces of art into melt metal. Yeah. Mm -mm. You're not turning this shit into scrap. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon. Links for the products will be in the description below. Not the watches. <laughs> but uh, for the necklace and the little bales that you can get. I highly suggest doing this because this is like really fun. And like I said, it's a Flav of Flav wrapper necklace with Victorian style pieces. <laughs> What's not to like about that?